I am here at the Mexican Cultural Center located in downtown Austin on Rainy Street. As you can see here, it's a, uh, it's a beautiful sunny day. You know, it's June 28th and it's another uh, 100 plus degree day here in Austin. You know, the last few days have been really hot. Um, but today I want to talk about uh, how to get around downtown Austin. Now, most of you probably know that there's a, uh, you know, it's very difficult to find parking downtown, especially during the night. Um, you know, even uh, you can park, but you know, it does cost between seven and ten dollars uh, for valet or one of the parking lots. But uh, if you live in one of these uh, downtown condos, it's a little bit, uh, you know, too close to drive, yet, you know, a little bit too far to walk. So, uh, what do you do? You know, well, you can uh, walk. I mean, I do it all the time. You know, I, I live in the Malago, which is right behind this building right here. This is the uh, Shore Condos. But, uh, you know, I don't like walking. You know, it's just uh, not for me. It's too slow. It's, uh, you know, and plus if I do it a lot, I get blisters on my feet. So, um, you know, another popular way is bicycling. You know, I love to ride my bike. You know, but sometimes you're out downtown, you don't, you don't want to ride your bike because uh, you know you don't want to sweat and it is it is hot it doesn't take much to work up a sweat here so uh, what do you do well uh, let me show you what I do what I've been uh, using for the past six months to get around downtown this is my eZip 1000 uh, it's called the 1000 because it has a 1000 watt motor. I think EZIP also makes uh, smaller versions of this, this uh, the 750 or the 500. But I, I don't really recommend it. Um, I recommend you get uh, this model, which is their most powerful scooter in, uh, in this format, you know, in this style. Um, it goes about 15 miles an hour, it runs on electricity. Um, you can see I'm charging it from a wall right now, and uh, it, you know it, it goes about the same speed as a as a bicycle would, a, a recreational cyclist would would ride at. Um, you know, go about 10 miles between for, on each charge. It uses a lead acid battery, and uh, takes about five to six hours to fully charge when it's empty. But, uh, you know, the, the purpose of uh, this is, uh, I think the intended use is just, you know, if you live in one of those uh, downtown condos or apartments and you're a little bit too far to walk, especially in 105 degree heat, which is what we've been having in the last few days, and a little too close to drive, this, this, is, uh, this is kind of what you, uh, what you want to use. Now the thing about electric is that it's good for going someplace and coming back. You know, it's not really good for just cruising around town because once you run out of charge, uh, you'll be stuck for a couple hours at least you know, while the thing recharges. Uh, and that's only if you brought the charger with you and if you could find an uh, electrical outlet from wherever you are. Um, you know, for cruising around, I would try to find something like this in a uh, with a gas-powered motor, like a 50 cc or a 49 cc uh, two-cycle engine. Uh, this way, uh, you know, if you run out of gas, you can uh, just stop by any gas station and get some gas. So that uh, that does limit the practicality of this quite a bit. Um, but on the other hand, you know, with a scooter, with an electric scooter like this, it's very quiet. 
I mean, it's so quiet. Uh, most people don't hear you coming. Um, and uh, it's legal to ride on the sidewalks. Uh, you know, it's considered a bicycle. You don't need any kind of license or anything. I'm not so sure about the, uh, the gas-powered ones. Um, but this is great uh, for just uh, you know, going downtown and coming back. You know, I, I mean, I could ride a bicycle faster than this, but you know, that's a lot more work. And also, uh, you know, sometimes depending on how I'm dressed, it's not always easy to pedal a bike. But uh, anyway, uh, you can buy this at Alien Scooter. They're located on South Lamar. Um, I got mine for uh, less than $400 because uh, the city of Austin, I believe, is giving a $150 rebate. And you actually you want to get this one because this is the smallest uh, electric vehicle that the city will give a rebate on. So you know it's actually you know if you buy the uh, the model below it you'll actually end up paying more because those don't qualify for the rebate. But, uh, you know, what else is there? You just plug it in, you know, to any electrical outlet. Like I said, it takes about six hours to charge on a fully empty battery. Um, and you do want to recharge it as soon as possible. The thing weighs about 50 pounds, and that's why I got this, because it's really the, the fastest thing I could buy that I, you know, that runs on electric that um, that I can still pick up and throw in the back of a truck. It does fold, you know, you see here there's a quick release mount. You release that and the handlebar folds down and uh, the seat post also comes out so, you know, you could fit it into the back of a large trunk, uh, you know, like a full-size car. Uh, they do also sell uh, bigger bikes that, you know, will go faster, they'll go about 25 miles an hour, maybe 30 miles an hour, but they're a lot more expensive and they're, they're a lot heavier, they weigh over 100 pounds. So you're, you're probably not going to be able to pick that up and throw in the back of a car um, if you ever need to. Uh, so, you know, this is a, you know, this is the EZIP uh, 1000. Oh, just uh, one other thing I, you know, I was thinking about doing was, um, you know, getting a, uh, replacing the battery with a lithium-ion battery because uh, most of the weight is in the battery which is located you know underneath the floorboard right here and uh, right now it runs on a lead-acid battery which is extremely heavy I think it weighs around 22 pounds which is probably half the weight of the scooter is just the battery I know if you swapped it out with a you know a, a even a nickel metal hydride battery it would weigh half and if you did a lithium ion the battery would you know would only probably be a third of the weight um, so that would be uh, that would be something to, to consider I mean some issues that I I've had it's just that you know I have to look at if it's really worthwhile because you know lithium batteries are extremely expensive especially large ones that you know, you would need to power something like this. All right, well, I'm gonna give a little short demonstration about how this thing works. Um, I don't have a cameraman here, so, uh, you know, I just set it up on a tripod. I'm just gonna light it around just so you guys can see what it's like. Uh, well, it's, a, it's not particularly fast, but it's definitely faster than running or walking. Further, so 